guidelines and best practices for prompt engineering. As you might have noticed by now, prompt engineering is as much an art as much it is science. So you need to iterate, you need to find out what are some of the best ways to get the most out of a large language model like ChatGPT. So in this module, we'll go through some of the best practices which we have learned by our experience, which help you get the most of the output from these large language models. So in order to set up, what we are doing is uh, something which you have already seen. So we have installed the OpenAI Python library. We have also imported our API key and we are defining a function which is get response with the prompt and a new parameter which you have not seen till now which is temperature. I'll explain this later in this module. The model is GPT 3.5 turbo. So for every input prompt, the role is that of user and we are sending it to chat completion API. And whatever response we get is essentially the final response. So let me go ahead and run this function. Now, in order to make this module extremely useful, we'll look at a case study where we want to use a large language model. So this case study is for a customer support function. So think of it like a customer support, which gets multiple tickets in form of emails. So there are several emails which the users can send to this customer support function. And the customer support function is expected to categorize these tickets into different categories, whether it's a usage problem or a technical problem, or let's say a billing related problem and then resolve those tickets as needed. So what we would do is see how you can use prompts to make their responses faster, make their categorization faster. And this also brings out one of the key advantages of using LLMs that in order to do this, in order to do this classification and resolution uh, and creating these messages, you actually don't need any training data. You can just use what chat GPT has already been trained on. So here is a first customer support ticket and, and a sample of what these tickets could look like. Right. So you can see this is a email which outlines the problem, some details about the user and then what they've tried doing. So let me save this as first customer support ticket. Here is a second one and I'm saving that as second customer support ticket. So again, in this case, the user has highlighted the issue, the feature which is getting affected and, and a few more details. 